tanky core. Uh, don't even. I don't really know if he can go for a mech off lane here. So they're just trying to get him to leave, head over to the jungle, uh, and then they can potentially pick up this tier one tower. Which stocks are going to sidestep the skewer here. So Magnus using up his escape. The Fisher block comes out as well, and they're just going to keep on laying in with the right clicks. And this should be your first blood. He's going to try and tango juke his way through, but Razor's already coming across, and that is going to be your first blood. Making it probably not too interested in coming back soon. We've got a big jump in top lane. Always want to fly an Aloha Dance. Coming out onto Witch Doctor. Going to grab that kill. Havost drops down the link. And with his boots of speed, he's going to be able to run away. But that aggressive roaming pressure already coming out of Empire. Way down to this bottom rune. But still going to find that kill. And looking for more. Silent going to get called up here on bot. They've got the dunk already on Phobos. And they're going to drop it down. Navi picking up a third easy kill in as many minutes planted down earlier so they've opened up this top lane a little bit more to aggression but as I say that we're just gonna watch Havost zap down Yoki finds another easy kill and splitting up a little bit from his team does get the slowdown onto Dendi but again he's still got that Aegis some good damage getting laid in as the snowball is gonna start rolling its way across Phobos can he drop the call here they've already burst down the Aegis but they've got a bunch of heroes in return the RP gets dropped down Havost Skewered back, Phobos dropping very low, it's a 3 for 1 so far, a completely uncancelled death ward off to the side, salvaging the fight, Yol making the plays here, and looks like Yoki might not even be able to escape, another urn charge ticking out, and that's going to be the death of him, Navi taking a 5 for 2 fight, if you include the Aegis as a life for Dendi, and... What a ridiculously aggressive play out of that. Empire as they rotate all the way down towards bottom lane. Well, we'll find out that Roshan's gonna respawn in about a minute and 20 seconds. Sound gets called immediately. There is a defensive swap out and the RP comes in on top of three. Yoki looking for the skewer, but he can't find it. The shrapnel slowing him down and Havost doing the damage. They jump in with the Echo Slam. Go Black just gonna try and finish off one. And Yoki may actually be the only casualty this fight. Throws out one last shockwave, but that's all he's gonna get. A little bit further down, Phobos chasing after always wanna fly. Looks at the call. There's the stun, but the call cancels it. And there is that looks like it may be delayed somewhat as the shrapnel comes in bottom lane. Dendi's hunting for kills, and Go Black also coming bits and pieces here around the pit. But they do have a couple of smokes to work with, I believe. RP gonna get dropped top. They're looking for DK Phobos. Sound jumping in as wing it just a little bit. Could have been huge if he'd grabbed that skewer back on the sniper, but it was not to be this time around. And Navi, however, still chasing out. Go Black. Running through, looks for Yoki, they've got an assassinate coming in, they get the swap out, but it's not going to keep him alive, in comes the walrus punch, they drop down the Earthshaker, but Silent is wreaking havoc in the back lines, he's already brought down Dendi, and he's looking for more Yol, just playing ring around the Rosie here with the trees, but won't be able to get out of here, and then with the BKB pop, there's your double kill, it's only Havost and Silent duking it out right now, as Resolution is actually just over farming up the jungle, but... This troll is putting his team on his back, and the time being, but looks like Empire might consider jumping in here anyway. Silent with his Alpha Wolf in tow. They've got the pings out onto the side. Can they get the call? No, he blinks past. He's looking for this Earthshaker. Focuses him down in two auto attacks. DK Phobos is going to be next. Yol completely unable to channel the ultimate as Phobos is just getting trained. Dendi going to try and fight this one, but it's only going to take four hits for the troll to drop him down. And Yoki's managed to skewer back a Vost, setting him up for another blink in and a few more auto attacks. There comes your ultra kill. Godlike streak for Silent. And Navi end up taking a disastrous five for one fight. Nobody can stop this troll warlord. And that may actually just be Silent has just gone absolutely ham, and now he's going to find out Go Black. They've got the ultimate coming in as well. Avost locked down, pops the BKB, but still sent skyward by the Walrus Punch, and a few more hits from the troll, despite losing damage, are still going to finish him off. All of that without Empower, and troll also lacking. Like I, I feel like I should apologize for what a bad read I had on this game. Just did not give Silent enough credit. RP gets dropped down onto Havost. They know that he used his buyback earlier. Probably not available just yet. There's going to be a jump in Silent already wreaking havoc among the back lines. He's brought down three. He's looking for four. Here comes your ultra. No, does get swiped away by Aloha Dance. But they may still give it to him here with Phobos. Go Black already going to call the GG before a single tier three falls. And the Troll Warlord is going to lead his team to victory as they charge straight up the middle lane. I, I think for... 
for Empire, that was 100% silent MVP. They shifted gears really, really nicely into just farming the dire jungle and finding pickoffs. Uh, and Navi just never really got that, that early game going. They had their Blink, they had their Crimson Guard, they had their Mech, they had the Ags, but Empire not once giving them the opportunity to fight. Even with the, the